Oh, big up, big up, big up, everyone. Big up to everyone that's locked in, man. Make sure you guys are like and subscribing. Show some love to the channel. A little bit of a different layout today. Different backup, all sorts, man. Big up to everyone that's locked in. Oh, look, Ali, you're already here, man. Hold that Ziad, you fraud. We dodged a bullet with that Lavia signing. You didn't dodge no bullet, bro. I can promise you that. I'm very, I'm still very happy with that Lavia signing, and I'm still very happy we've got him, bro. But big up to Ali, of course, man. Ali, man. Call you Ali, man. Big up to why not? Why not? Yeah, that's what you. That's how you wanted me to, to say your name, bro. Why not? Big up to you, brother. Nice intro. Appreciate you, brother. A little bit of change of music, man. A little. We updated the music. So, um, we updated the music. So I was like, bun it, man. Let's update the music. Change it up a little bit. Spice it up. It's always, a, it's always, a, um, always good to have some change. Always good to have some change, man. Big up to you, brother. Raza, Raza Ahmed. I'm just going to call you Ahmed because, um, Raza Ahmed's a bit mad. Ahmed, I'll call you, bro. Ahmed, I'll call you. Big up to you, man. Uh, yeah, of course, man. Endo is better than Love You and Cassiano combined. Yeah, you keep dreaming, brother. You keep dreaming. You keep dreaming. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe, man. Show some love to the channel. Um, food is good. Food is very good, alhamdulillah. Ziad Tate. Listen, bro. Ziad Tate, man. Listen, make it happen. Let's, let me meet Andrew Tate one day, bro. Let's make it happen, man. Let's make it happen. Big up to you, brother, man. Listen, guys. As you can see, this is getting ridiculous, man. This is getting ridiculous. And there's no two ways about it. The injuries are ridiculous. Um, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it, man. We've got some few uh a few new injuries, a few reoccur reoccurring injuries. Um apparently we're make, we're making some investigation on the on the on the injury list, our medical team. Um a lot a lot is going on. A lot is going on. I'm gonna have my say. Um are we injury FC at this point? We're basically just injury FC at this point, aren't we? Um but yeah, we'll get into it, man. We got into it. we've got a little bit of a News from ticket prices as well, season ticket holders, um, yeah, and re-injury rate, all, all sorts, man. Make sure you guys are like and subscribe, man. Show some love to the channel. Big up to Ravage, man. How are you, brother? How are you, man? Hope you lot are doing well. Straight after this, I'm going straight on El Ahwa. So make sure you guys catch me over there as well, man. I'm going straight on El Ahwa. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what happens over there. But um, let me see. What else we got going on here? What else we got going on here? Um, let me open up my thing. There we go. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe, man. Show some love to the channel. And yeah, I think there's only one way to... There's only one place to start. And then, as um as Mr. Ali A, the troll, has um, insinuated, Mr. Lavia. Mr. Lavia, Mr. Lavia. There's only one place to start, man. That's on Romeo Lavia. That is on Romeo Lavia. I can show you that right now as we speak, man. As we speak, I can show you that one. Um, but yeah, guys, before we do get started on Romeo Live, I'll make sure you guys are like and subscribe, man. Um, we got why not say injury list at this weekly shopping list, yeah, Allah. But brother, this is my point that I wanted to make here. Yeah, I wanted to say something real quick before I show you the Lavia news and whatnot. It's for some people, everyone is blaming Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea Medical rubbish. Oh, Chelsea Medical, who, who are these people? Um, who are these people, man? They're not professionals, they've never dealt with elite athletes, man. Every single team. And their mum have injuries, right? Everyone has got injuries. It's not only Chelsea, right? It's not only Chelsea. It's not only us. It's not only Lavia. It's not the injury pro only the injury prone players. Everyone's got injuries. You no, know everyone's got injuries, man. Everyone's got injuries. So it's not only a Chelsea. It's not a case of oh my god, who are these figures? Where did you find them from? I said something, and I'll say it again. Yeah? I repeated this multiple times on Lewis's channel. Big up, uh, Lewis, man. Make sure you guys are subscribing at Carefree Lewis G if you're not already subscribed. Listen, one, is, one thing we need to understand about these um, physios, rehabbers, sports rehabbers, or it's, um, uh, what's it called? SNC coach, whatever it may be, sports therapist, whatever it may be, because that's what they are at Chelsea, right? At an elite club, don't everyone pins down, oh my God, look at the physios. No, they work as a team. A medical team consists of many things, right? Medical team, a physio, rehabber, SNC, sports therapist, doctors all of them they're all under one roof under one name which is the medical team right and everyone says oh my god who the hell are these medical teams where did you find them from oh my god we got him he um he was at spurs and now he was at chelsea who is this guy oh my god this guy must be so unqualified let me get something straight for you yeah as someone who studies sports rehabilitation and is getting towards the end of the end of his year in uni studying sports rehabilitation so when i speak about injuries and when i speak about a medical team I'm not being ignorant. I'm not being any of those things that I'm talking at my ass. I'm saying this as a fact and as me speaking to professionals and professional um, rehabbers and physios that work within football clubs, right? It is very unlikely 
for these rehabbers or physios to get shit wrong. I'm going to make that clear right now, yeah? For these rehabbers or these physios to be messing up or to be doing the wrong things and to be the reason behind why these players are getting injured on a consistent basis and why they can't return to play and why they, why they are always getting injured and why they're injury prone and why we're not seeing them during the season, right? The, to base that on the players and the, and the, sorry, not the players, the rehabbers and the physios to say they are, they are the reason is very unlikely. Borderline impossible. Obviously, I'm not going to say, say it as a fact. Yeah, because I'm not there. I'm not within the club. But it's borderline impossible and it's very, very unlikely that these medical team, right, are the reason behind why these players are getting injured, behind the, the list of um, inju injuries we have, right? If it was only Chelsea Football Club, I would understand. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a one-off. Maybe it's an odd occasion that Chelsea Football Club, you, you need to get some proper physios. Maybe. But when I'm seeing every single club yeah, in the Premier League. I don't know about the other in other leagues because I'm not sure, right? But a lot of clubs within the Premier League, right, have a problem with their features. I've got my United friends. Oh, my God, Malassia. When's Malassia going to play? Oh, my God, Lutaro Martinez. When's Lutaro Martinez going to play, right? Oh, my good team is shit. Do you guys understand the level you have to be at to be a physio or to be a rehabber at levels of Manchester United and Chelsea? let alone the Premier League, right? You being in the Premier League is hard enough. You being a physio at a prem, as, a, as in the first team team, in the first team team, in the first team in the Premier League, right? In any first team in the Premier League, that is hard in itself, yeah? Let alone being at a Man United or a Chelsea, one of the biggest clubs in the world, right? Biggest clubs in the league. Your experience, your CV, all of it has to be top tier. Otherwise, you will not be getting the job. Right, so for me, for me to sit there and and to try and think that they are the reason to think that, like I'm seeing this idiot. I don't even know his name. He's Chal uh, Trevor Chalaber's uh, PT coach or whatever he is. Oh my God, they're doing the exercises wrong. Oh my God, they they're not they're not loading here when they should be loading here. They're not doing this certain exercises when they should be doing the same exercises. Brother, please have some self respect. Have some self respect. Have some self awareness. I've been on your account. And I haven't seen anything for you to say, for you, if any qualification that states that you should be knowing more than these physios, right? The likely, I'm going to say this one more time, I'll get through some of your comments and we'll get into the news. The likelihood that these physios and rehabbers are the reason behind the injuries is very low. And, the, and to sit here and, and think that these rehabbers and physios are not good enough to be at the club and need to be sacked, it's ridiculous, right? Because we had injuries before these lot. People always talk about how we got, we chopped and changed our medical team. Well, guess what? We did that for our medical team and the and the other um play other players, managers, cooks, all of them. They all got they all gone. But we all have uh, injuries. I'm seeing Ali Hay saying uh, he mentioned Liverpool. Ziad, we have the same problem at Liverpool. We um we occurred Trent Salah injuries, and that was on the, our medical department fault. But it's both players and physios fault. But from the outside in, I can't see how you. Blame anyone. How do you, bro? How I can't sit here and blame players. I can't sit here and blame physios without knowing the facts. But this one thing that annoys me with some people, and it's not you, Ali. Um, I'm not blame, I'm not uh, singling you out in general. When people sit here and say, Oh, this player is this and that. Why is he not getting this? Why is he not? Why is his diet like this? Why is he eating this? Uh, oh, the physio, why is he not doing this? Why is brother like you're questioning elite athletes, you're questioning the best of the best in their job. In terms of videos, and we're on the outside, we're not even in. If we were inside, if I had Cobham access every single day and I was seeing these things from my own eyes, no problem. But no one knows what the hell's going on, man. No one knows what's going on. Um, what's wrong with Lavia Biscuit Legs? We'll get into it, man. We'll get into it, man. Uh, Chelsea Blue, big up to you, brother. Ziad Lavia really was a myth, a joke turned into reality. So some uh, people in Chelsea believe that we signed him with a problem. I'll get into it as well. We signed apparently we signed Lavia with a problem. We'll get into it. Guys, make sure to like and subscribe, man. Road to 1K is on. Road to 1K is on. 11 of you in here and we got 10 likes, man. Make sure to like and subscribe and show some love to the channel. I'm going to set something up real quick. Uh, boom. Uh, but yeah, like, like I said, man. Like I said, it's uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot to get into and there's a lot of insight that we don't know.
we really don't know what anything could be happening in Chelsea Football Club. And that's for, for that's why for me to sit and say, oh my god, it has to be it has to be the physios, it has to be the rehabbers. Oh my god, these players are a joke. Their diet is shit. This is the re like brother, brother, we don't know, brother. We have no idea, man. We don't know what's going on. We really don't know what's going on, man. Okay, so the, all I'm saying is that people need... Like, we can all sit here and talk about uh, that transfer news, right? Transfer news, managers... Because sometimes we can see, right? We've got a little bit of insight. A little, even journalists help us a little bit, right? In terms of what's going on within the club. Maybe we can see that. But this type of thing, the, man, like the physios, how they train, their diet... We don't know this stuff, man. It's all guessing. It was all guesswork. Um, definitely a run of a performance analysis, analysis on, the, on that medical team. I'd have one done at Arsenal a, a bit shady at times. Uh, yeah, man. It's difficult. It is difficult. Uh, I hate when people are saying it was a mistake buying Lavia. And when he starts balling next season, they'll say it was a bargain. I mean, they say it was a mistake to buy Lavia. And then in the same breath, they say, oh, my God, get rid of the, the medical team. I don't understand, man. I don't understand. Big up to you, brother Joel, man. Big up to you, man. Big up to you, brother. Make sure you guys are like and subscribing, man. We need an internal investigation, Joel. I'm going to get into it, but apparently that's what we're doing. Apparently that's what we're doing. We're getting, we've got a little internal investigation going on, man. Um, Daniel, proper chills. This is the most injury-prone squad that we've ever had. Yeah, but Noni Madueke was apparently injury-prone when we got him. His, his injury record is terrible. Like You go on the list and you can see his injuries. It's bad. He hasn't been injured that much. Not that much. Um, we had that one. I would be interested uh, I would be interested in getting a medical team and conditioning coach from our rugby team. Bro brother, can I what does that solve, brother? Can I just ask? Let me tell you something right now. Like I said, I studied this and I'm gonna give you a little bit of what I think of this. The difference between a physio and a rugby team and a football team is that a rugby a rugby physio or rehab, I'm just gonna say physio. Because it's just quicker, yeah, and easier. But bro, a f the rugby physio will just see a, a, a broad, a a variety of injuries, if you will, yeah, a variety of injuries. You'll get upper, you get lower, you get the shoulder, you get the elbow, you got the wrist, you got the hip, you got, and then that's what you get. You get the knee, you get the foot, you get the whole body. A rugby, because we all know how how crazy that sport is in terms of contact, right? Football, you're more lower limb, so you go from lower leg. So you got your knee. You got your and your foot and ankle. That's more likely what you get in a football, right? You got your foot and you you got your knee. That's the main main ones you're looking at, right? That's the only difference. It's not a case of oh, rugby physios are more educated than the than the um than the football physios. No, that, that, that that's what people are making it out to this. But why not? I'm not saying you mean it this way, but the way I read this is as if you're saying rugby physios know more and are more knowledgeable and are more qualified than a football physios. Well, it's just not the case, brother. It's not the case. Um, Potts training methods have led to a lot of injuries. He did the same at PSG and Tottenham players. Well, Joe, I finally you say that because I heard, right, I heard um, that he's, his biggest training session is the day before the game. And all my life, I've played football and I've seen football and I've watched and I've... Uh, um, research within clubs and teams that the day before a match is all tactic work it's set pieces it's final bits and bobs that they do before the match to have your biggest training set training session before match day i've never seen it done before i've never seen it done before um do, 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 do. there you go apparently i didn't know i don't know this I don't know if it's true our former mental staff was rugby players apparently i'm not sure um uh, how did Lavia have a problem when we wanted him heavily and you got him instead? I don't get it. Well, when they say Lavia has got a problem, they're saying he he had a, he came injured, right? He's done his medical um, injured, okay. And I, I, I we, what we can go for, we can look at his uh, injury history. It's really nothing. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's really nothing. Um, because I even see a comment here. How from Daniel? How did they pass their medicals? Well, I've seen. I I saw this from Ben Foster. He he. He done a podcast. I'm sure all of you know his podcast. He done a podcast on um, um, on his channel with a physio, England old physio, and they said, "From I'm um, what do you call it? Just quickly off my head, what I remember." He said, "A medical is a risk assessment. 
right? It's, it's a risk assessment. It's not whether to see if the player is fit or not. We know they're fit because they're athletes and they're, they're, they're fit and they're um, active a lot of the time throughout the year. We know they're fit. We know they're fine. It's just whether the level of, the level of their body and how much their body can, can live up to and, the, and how much demand it can take and pressure and stress it can take, right? And how much benefit it's going to bring to the team in comparison to what they're paying, right? It's like a car. You will buy a car. Um, how much you buy it for compared to how much you um, how much someone's going to buy it off you for, right? You got you got to look at it. If, for example, if you get into a car accident, right? If I get into a car accident, hopefully not. But if you, someone gets into a car accident and the car is like is very bad damaged, very bad damage. If the car costs more to fix than it's worth, no point. It's the car's finished. There's no point. I'm going to spend more fixing the car than the car's actually worth. What's the point? It's like that with the tra- with the tra- with the um, medical. They look how much their club are buying them for, and they look at the the medical record and the tests that they get, and they weigh up their options. It's not a case of are they are they injured or are they good enough. They weigh up the options, and he wasn't bought for cheap. He was sixty million. So this notion that he was, you know, he wasn't good or he wasn't fit. I don't know. Well, of course it is. Of course it is. Like I don't I don't understand Ali, but people. I'm, I'm always hearing um. Oh, these players are not robots. These players are they're not um they can't be playing every two games. They play a lot. Oh, they they, they don't get um they get treated like rubbish. And in the same breath, they they what do you call it? They're questioning why they're always injured. It doesn't make any sense. You can't you can't sit there and say, Yeah, they're not robots. They they um they play too many games, they're overworked. And in the same breath, question why they're always injured. It doesn't make sense. And Kuku is out for the rest of the season. No, and Kuku out for the rest of the season. Well, Lavia is 100% confirmed from the club that he's out for the rest of the season. But um, Lavia, not Lavia, and Kunku, about three, four weeks ago, Pochettino said, yeah, three, four weeks, he'll be back. Now, a couple of days ago, he said, no, nah, he still needs another three, four weeks. So there we go. There we go. Sterling's apparently dropped tomorrow. And just, hopefully he's dropped. I wouldn't mind him being dropped at all. Would it mean by, but going back to the Lavia in terms of um, how, did he, how did they pass their medical... Or um, um, how did Lavia have a problem? I mean, this is Lavia's. This is Lavia's. Um, what you call it? This is Lavia's injury record, right? This is injury record. Let me show you guys his injury record, because it's not anything really. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So as you can see, we got like Mr. Romeo Lavia. That's it. That's what he's got, which is nothing. Let's break it down. Hamstring injury, 55 days, quite a bad one then. 55 days, okay, okay, no problem. Um, let me move that. And then we've got uh, muscle tear, six days, nothing serious. Ankle injury, okay, f- that was at Chelsea. Fitness, Chelsea, hamstring injury now, Chelsea. Apparently it's a hamstring. Well, we were told it's, a, it's, a, it's his quad, so now apparently it's his hamstring. I don't know. So there we go. There we go. This is 23. So he had one bad injury. He's had one bad injury. You could say bad. 55 days. October, August to October. Not terrible. He missed 10 games, 55 days, but nothing crazy. Right? Nothing crazy at all. So someone explain to me where this problem is. Where, where is his problem? And look at this idiot as well. Sorry, Bush, I had to call you an idiot, bruv. Now, what are you talking about? Little part of the last laugh. It's not like Liverpool. It's not like we're over. It's not like Lavia's, oh my God, his career's finished. The guy is, he's 20. The guy is 20. He's still one of the best upcoming young midfielders in the league, 100%. And Liverpool will still die for him. I guarantee you Liverpool will still want Lavia in their squad. I'm going to El Ahwa later on and I'll ask Hussam, right? He would still take Lavia in his team. Next, in the summer, he w- if I told you, you, can, you want Lavia, he would say yes. 100%. Yeah, P- uh, Pochettino, he can't trust him for, I mean, Oh, listen, bro. Um, what if you get Europe? It will be worse. You'll play one game a week. Yeah, we don't. I mean, we, to be fair, this one game a week notion. It, it was more. It's more one game a week at the start of the season. Like, you know, it, it's in the last few weeks, few months. We've been playing. Um, what you call it? We've been playing a good, decent amount of games. We've been playing at least every couple of days, right? So this one game a week is a. 
Not totally true, brother. Not totally true. But I get your point. It's definitely at the start. Um, like, yeah, is the money going into that player worth it? The base of, yeah, there we go. Um, Liverpool would kill Farmers for next year. We'll see how bad their team is about Klopp. It's not, bro, uh, the Klopp bit, we don't know, but 100% they will die for him and kill for our midfielders. People, this notion, oh, Enzo Fernandez, oh, he's overrated, isn't he? Casado, he's overrated. Love you, he's finished. Like, come on, man. None of that is true. None of that is true. But what we will get into now is, of course, this news that we've been talking about in terms of Romeo Lavia. Guys, make sure you're like and subscribing, man. 12 of you in here, make sure you're like and subscribing. Show some love to the channel. Oh, God. Let me get a drink of water real quick. But yeah, like we see, Chelsea confirmed. Mr. Romeo Lavia, midfielder Romeo Lavia will miss the remainder of the 23-24 season. Read the full statement below. We're not reading the full statement. Actually, we'll read the full statement. Why not? We'll read the full statement. Why not? We'll read the full statement. Let's have a click on the full statement. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. We know it's an injury update. Is that a full statement? You having a laugh? Oh my god! Me thinking they've got a full, they've got a full bloody, um, they had a full statement. Wait, you can't see it. There we go. Look, this is a full statement. That's I then thinking I've got a whole bloody I don't know essay to read, and that's it. Oh, what's going on here now, bro? Oh, what's going? Big up to you, TKA man. What's this kiwi business? Big up to you, brother. Kiwi, bro. What did you have for a start? And yeah, definitely not kiwi, bro. Definitely not kiwi. I didn't have kiwi for a start, man. Um, um, I would want Casado at him, but I would still get him Ziad, and I'm a Liverpool fan. Of course you will. Of course, any Liverpool fan that would reject Casado is stupid and is a liar. It's a straight up liar. It's not a stupid at the point. He's just lying. Um, um, but like you can see here, man. <laughs> like I see, bro. I'm telling you, bro. What is this? They made the whole. They made a whole new page. And restatement below for what? One line. Where is this rubbish, bro? Where is this rubbish? Bloody ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, but midfield of Roma Lavia is unfortunately missing the remainder of our 2023 24 campaign following a setback in his recovery. Recent medical assessments have confirmed that Lavia, who sustained a significant thigh injury against Crystal Palace back in December, will not feature again this season. R.I.P. Romeo Lavia, man. R.I.P. Romeo Lavia. Hopefully we see you next season, brother. Hopefully we see you next season. Hopefully we see you next season, man. Big up to you, brother Daniel. Big up to you, brother. How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe, man. Show some love to the channel. Road to uh, 1,000 subscribers is on, man. Make sure you like and subscribe and show some love to the channel. Um... Um, there won't be managers left. Poch is staying. Oh, we've got plenty of managers, man. you still got Hansi Flick up there. Um, where is the picture? Let me show you guys. My boy Hansi Flick. We still got Hansi Flick up there, man. Bring me, bring me Hansi Flick. Um, we still got Mr. Thomas Tuchel is out there. You know, Thomas Tuchel. You already know the vibe. Look at that. Listen, bro. We've got plenty of options, brother. We've got plenty of options. Don't worry about that. We've got plenty of options. Okay, Pochettino can be bye bye, bro. Pochettino can be bye bye. Um, what else we got? Mr. Romeo Lavia. He put out a little statement. Oh, RIP, man. This is, this is long, man. I can't believe this guy's played. He's played. He's come off the bench once. This whole season, he's come off the bench once. Um, let me see, brother. Let me see. So, Mr. Lavia says, Hi, Chelsea family. As you may know, despite my countless efforts, I will be missing the remainder of the season. This has been a frustrating season for me, not being able to help my teammates. I love this squad, this badge, and being on the pitch more than anything. Just that I've given, all, uh, given my all every day to get back. Thank you for the love, support and critics because they all affect me positively and keep going. Can't wait to get it back and share my special moments together. See you soon. Listen, man, next season, hopefully, the, um, yeah, um, what do you call it? Hopefully next season, fresh season, man. Fresh season. Another fresh season. I thought this one's going to be a fresh one. This year, again, another fresh one, man. Another fresh one, man. Another fresh season, man. New manager, players coming back from injury. We're alive, man. We're alive. Hopefully, bro. Hopefully. Uh, if Pochettino gets sacked, would you take Nagelsmann? I'm seeing a lot of Nagelsmann talk. The guy, Nagelsmann talk. The guy is in um, Germany, bro. He just went to Germany. I mean, I would take Nagelsmann over any other bloody, a lot of people, over the Zerbi, yes, you know. Um, big up to brother Aaron, man. Big up to you. Hope you're doing well, brother. Make sure you, make sure you, um... wait, what? He's not dead. 
Oh yeah, so, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, big up to Aaron, man. Hope you're doing well, brother. Hope you're doing well. Listen, what is this, Tommy Tactical Tuchel? Yes, yes, actually, look. There we go. You you want you want that Ali? Yeah. What about this? What about when he came to Anfield and dunked on you? How about that? You remember that one, don't you? Bigger to my brother Thomas Tuchel, man. I hope you're coming home, man. I hope you're coming home. I hope Thomas Tuchel's coming home. And look at this guy, man. And Hansi bum flick. Listen, bro. Have some shame, man. Have some shame. Respect my manager, man. Respect my hopefully my future manager. Big up to Hansi Flick, man. Big up to Hansi Flick. So yeah, man. Uh, oh, um. But yeah, I think that's it on Leroy Mayo Lavia in terms of him specifically. Um, hopefully, hopefully he gets back um, better, man. Hopefully he gets back better. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh my God, what's going on here? Yeah, I know under Bowley, I don't, I, I don't, I'm, listen, I don't see it happening, of course. Um, it's more of a, it's more of a pray for wish for me. I don't see Tuchel coming back, but in terms of who I would want, in terms of who I want to see at the club, 100% has to flick. 100 percent um 100 percent uh what's his name or oh, thomas Tuchel, bring him home bro. bring thomas Tuchel home let him dunk on dunk on everyone again man dunk on everyone again uh do, 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 do. and then as we can see here as we said about the about nkunku four weeks today not even three. I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt i said four weeks i mean three weeks so it's actually four weeks Right, it's actually four weeks. Four weeks today, Pochettino said this regarding Nkunku. Nkunku, about three to four weeks, according to Poch, as hope. So, in reality, the guy's out for eight weeks, and this guy said half that time as hope. So, he just lied to our face. So, he just lied to, he just, he just lied to our face. Being my thing, he lied to our face. Um, and then we got here, of course, Premier League game start this season. Reese James, only five. Okuchuku 3 and Kunku 2, Kani 2, Lavia 0 for Fana 0. Guys, can we deep this for a second, yeah? I know there's a lot of rivals in the chat, man. Big up to all of you that's here, man. I appreciate all your support. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. But can we deep that players that like Reese James, Lavia, and Wesley for Fana, and in Kunku, these are four key players that at the start of the season, you could have argued that we should be starting week in, week out. Week in, week out, these four players, in my in my opinion, Fofana is in my best start uh, best Chelsea lineup. In my opinion. He's fit, he's just starting for me. So that's what in my opinion, that's one player. And Kunku 100 percent starting. That's two. Reese James, obvious. Three. That's three players. Lavia, you could argue, right? You could argue. Enzo, Caicedo, maybe in the three. But he will still have a massive impact. So I, I'm going to leave Lavia out for this one. No problem. I've got three guaranteed starters, guaranteed starters who are key bowlers, right, that have had zero for Fofana, zero starts for Fofana, five for Rich James, and two. So between these three key players, in my opinion, they've had seven starts all season. Seven starts all season between the three players, three key players for me. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Exactly, Ravaj. People really forget how good Wesley Fofana is. That guy, he is a baller. Wesley Fofana is a baller. There's no two ways about it, bro. Wesley Fofana is a baller. Um, have you heard what Judge Mo said about Tuchel? What did he say now, man? What did he say now? What did Mo say now? Mo is always talking rubbish about, about Chelsea. He would more likes his, uh, likes his shit on Chelsea. I don't know why, man. What did he say now about Chelsea? Go on. Enlighten me, Ali, bro. Enlighten me, man. Um, what else we got going on here? So, yeah, of course, Mr. Carney. Carney, Chukameka, Trevor Chalaba, and Robert Sanchez have been all added to the Chelsea injury report. Chelsea have now had 47 different injuries in the 2023-24 season. 47. 47 injuries, ladies and gentlemen. 47 injuries 40 different injuries man 47 different injuries man um what else we got going on here pochettino says that chelsea lavia with problems yeah all right yeah stop talking rubbish mate we didn't have any problems um and as we can see chalabar robert sanchez have been added to the list robert sanchez what the hell happened to my man bro 
What the hell happened to Robert Sanchez? What the hell happened to Robert Sanchez? The guy just came back. The guy just came back. He played, he played that, what, two games since he returned from injury? Um, he said he's only a cup manager and he can't handle league football. Hasn't won the league when there is competition um, around him, apart from last season when Dortmund bottled it. I mean, look, if I'm going to be honest about Thomas Sokol, look, I love Thomas Sokol and I would love him to be at Chelsea Football Club in, um, in the summer. He, We weren't great in the league. I will say that for a fact. The first season he came in, we we only got top four because of the less, less of us Tottenham result. That was one. The only That's the only reason we came. Lampard, yeah, but I think, but I'm pretty sure to be fair to Tuchel, I, I, swear, I think we were like nine points of fourth or something when he walked in. So not an impossible job, but not an easy job as well. His second season, we finished third, right? So to say he's not good in the league, it, it, it's not fair because, we, well, we finished third. Yeah, we didn't finish eighth and win a Champions League. We didn't finish seventh and get to two cup finals. We finished third and got to two cup finals. So you can't say he's not good in the league because that's not that's unfair. Um, we were nowhere near, uh, what do you call it? We were nowhere near second, to be fair. Um, and to be fair, even like fourth or whatnot, um, we were quite close to fourth as well. But the point is that we were comfortably top four, right? We were in the top four, no problem. Yeah, and we got to two cup finals. So yeah, you could say he's not great in the league. Um, I don't know about you, if you want to count PSG. He he won that. You got to the Champions League final, and of course, winning the league with them, you can say it's not a lot. Dortmund, when he was at Dortmund, I don't think you expect him to to win that league. Um, Mines as well. He done wonders at Mines within the league. So you talk about him within the league, you know. In Mines, he got. I'm pretty sure. But he, I'm pretty sure he got. Um, he got mines to the first ever European spot. I'm pretty sure we can get a little bit of research on that, but I'm pretty sure. But yeah, of course I will take him, man. Uh, to be fair, uh, Sanchez can stay there. Petrovic has us covered. Yeah, but it's just it's just the principle of being injured again. It's just for me. Um, and he said he doesn't make a system for the players to thrive in. Well, that's not true because he walked into the Chelsea Football Club, completely changed the system. Yeah, brought in back players that weren't playing under Lampard, and then we ended up dominating Europe and winning the Champions League. So I'll, I'll, I'll say that's unfair again. I'll say that's unfair again. Um, what else we got going on here, man? What else we got going here? Here we go. This is the investigation that everyone was talking about. This is the big... Oh, my God. Bro. Um, uh, um, big up to you, Toka, bro. Big up to you, brother. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Speak to him on Al Ahwa. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see, man. I don't, I don't think managers is going to be the talking point today, man. We'll see, we'll see. So yeah, it's going to be Zerbe. Tuchel's not coming back. I don't like. I said Tuchel for me is a dream, right? Tuchel for me is a dream. But and, I, and for you to say he's not coming back, I, I'm not saying it wrong because the chances of him coming back is very slim. Um, but yeah, of course, bring him home. In my uh, all means necessary, bring him home, man. Um. Uh, do, 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 do. Big up to you, Toka. Yours, yours, um, who do you want as a manager now that Amron's probably coming to Liverpool? I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to show you pictures. My manager. My manager. My manager. Bring me one of them, brother. Bring me one of them. Deserve is a fraud. Probably is a fraud, man. Probably is a fraud. Um, here we go. What else we got going on here? Chelsea have launched an investigation in the consistent injury crisis and are looking for a root for the root cause and what they can do to ease issues in the time for 24-25 season. Uh, I mean, we need to find a solution, right? Is it like like I've, I've sat here the whole stream back in the physios and the medical team? But is it them? Are they actually doing something wrong? Can you find um, sufficient evidence to, to state that they are doing something wrong? Um, or who else is it? Is it the manager? Because Chelsea, have, you will launch an investigation. I hope that's the club and the board and not the bloody managers because we're going to get into it as well, saying the managers apparently overruled and the manager's team overruled the medical team. So the club need to look within it 
Look at the structure and the plan of Pochettino, how he runs stuff, and use your common sense. As simple as that. Um, so we've got uh, ticket prices. Uh, so we've got ticket prices here, but but yeah, I thought I did. Uh, I don't know if I've, I've saved it. I don't know if I saved it. I don't know if I saved it. I don't know. If I didn't save it, but there was definitely um, there was definitely a report, definitely a report that um, that said that for the Lavio one specifically, right? Lavio Lavio one specifically, that the medical team said he said that he was not ready to stay. Right? He was not ready to play. He was not he was not fit enough to play. The um, the team Pochettino's team said no 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 we need him. We we're dying out for midfielder. At this point, we were dying out from his field up. We said, I don't care what stage is at, bring him back, we need him. And then he got injured, right? And I, and I know this is the case because we all know, all Chess fans know, we were always desperate for um we were always desperate for a midfielder. The reason Ukachuka got injured was because we needed we needed a midfielder. Casado was ill and we had no other choice but to play Ukachuku. Ukachuku played and um and he got injured. So it shows the desperate levels we were at to um to win the to for a midfielder. So it makes sense, right? So at that stage, that, that's where it comes. It comes to you got to listen to the medical team. You can't overrule the medical team because I know this. Like I said, I'm refer back to what I do. The medical team can only say and do so much. If the medical team assess someone and say, "Look, you're not. He's not ready. He can't play," and then um. And then the manager or Poch or whoever says, no, 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 we need him now. I We ain't got time for this. Bring him. He has to play. What can what can the medical team do? What can the medical team do? There, there's nothing the medical team can do. They have to just say, all right, cool. I guess you're playing. What else is there to do, man? Um, thoughts on Boli leaving? Come on, Ali. Boli, Boli is not leaving anywhere. Look, the thing is, this, the reason why everyone shits on Boli and he... Bowley gets the most blame from rivals is because Bowley is just the face of Chelsea, right? That's all he is. He is the face of um, uh, what do you call it? He's just the face of Chelsea. Chelsea's run by a whole consortium, by a whole business, right? It's not one person. It's not one person. Bowley's just the face of that. So I think all that basically needs to be in simple terms is that Bowley's going to step out the light. Iqbal is going to come in the light. That's all it is. That's all it is. But they, I, still, I don't think it really means anything. And they, they still work together. You look at the big deals that we had to get through this uh, the previous summer and the summer before and the January. Iqbal and Bowley work together. Bowley's just the one that's the face of it. He's the one that's always there doing interviews, talking about it. All right? Don't forget, Bowley and Iqbal work together to get the Enzo deal done, to get the Casado deal done. Right? They were like, no, nah, no, nah, we're getting this player, right? We are getting, we're, stop pissing about, we're going to step in now and make sure we get it, done, it gets done, right? So that's another word to the people that love to shit on Bowley and, and our owners and say that they're not good enough. Um, so yeah, exactly. He's got the minority share. End of the day, he's just he's just a face. He's, that's just the way they've done it. And he'll probably step out in that 2027 quote that everyone's talking about. He'll step out and, and like, Bowley will come in. That's all it is. That's what it is. Yeah, bro, it's a consortium, like you said. It's a clear lake. They're all part of a the team. They all got the same vision. Hopefully, you know, bloody if they don't, then we've got a problem, man. Then we've got a problem. Um, and then a little bit here on ticket prices. This month, the message coming out of Chelsea was that a rise would be no higher than 8%, with figures of 5 to 7% deemed most likely. But the relevant figures are yet to agree on the numbers. So I guess the, the ticket prices are going up. And guess what? I think that comes down to one thing. I think the ticket price is going up. And um, apparently merchandise, kits and whatnot going up comes down to one thing. We don't make that much money in the stadium. Our stadium's not big enough. Our stadium has not got enough income or revenue to rely on. And I think a big part, a big reason to why you're seeing all this increase in um, prices and increase in in the prices in the tickets, prices in, in the merchandise, is because they're trying to compromise for the fund that, uh, that we're losing in the tickets, in the stadium, sorry. If we had a much bigger stadium that we've been trying to build, right, 
if we could move and get a bigger stadium, build a bigger stadium, a bit a better stadium, then maybe we maybe we wouldn't have um this problem. Maybe we would we wouldn't have to increase ticket prices, right? Maybe we would have to increase it. No one knows. Maybe we actually wouldn't. It's not a guarantee. I'm not saying it's guaranteed we wouldn't have to, but I'm just saying maybe we wouldn't. Um Jose E. Feliciano ain't got no got, ain't got enough heat. People are forgetting he owns Kalik as well. Yeah, man. I don't, listen, man. I don't know, man. Stafford Bridge was a car park, but that, but that's what they want to build. They want to build a car park. They want to build a nice stadium. They probably want to build a bar within it. They probably want to put a shop within the stadium. They want to put a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. But you look at Tottenham Stadium. Um, you can't bloody look at the examples of a bigger clubs like Real Madrid. Look at their stadium, man. Look at Bayern Munich Stadium. Like, bro, we've got our stadium is tiny. We've got like what is it, 41 capacity, 41,000 capacity or something. It's tiny, it's not good enough at all. Um, so yeah, listen, I'm the one, I am someone that goes to games and I am someone that lives close to the stadium. And I honestly, it's it would be nice to stay in Stanford Bridge, the location, but if we can move. 15 minutes down the road and it means we get a bigger stadium and a nicer stadium why not why not no problem at all make it happen man make it happen and then this one is ownership group admit to making mistakes but the fact that remains that they have spent one billion of their own money this is not the glazers no dividends have been taken no buyout leveraged against the club listen and this comes back to um this comes back to the the people the owners getting a lot of stick and hate. Oh, the owners don't care. Oh, the owners are fake. What do they know? They don't know anything. You know? They clearly do care. They've put a lot of money into it, man. They've put a lot of money into it, man. Um but yeah man look that's it in terms of in terms of injuries. That's it in terms of news. We listen, we're gonna see what happens um in terms of future. Uh Liverpool sixty one thousand capacity. I've, I've been to Anfield. The stadium is very modern. It's a very it's a very modern stadium. Very modern stadium. It's a quite nice stadium. Um, and that's probably why they don't have to increase the prices of many things. That's probably why they don't. Um, uh, they bit off a road and um, road end where their away fans are up and bigger. Listen, you've got to make some change. You can't have the same stadium all the time, man. You can't have the same stadium all the time. It's impossible. How can you have the same stadium the whole time? You you struggle, man. You will struggle. Uh, big up to everyone that's locked in, man. Make sure you guys are like and subscribing, man. Show some love to the channel. Show some love to the channel, man. Uh, let me see. Drop your questions in the comment section as well, man. We'll wrap up soon as well. Only I'll say just about just over 10 minutes. And then I'll be heading over to Al-Ahwa, man. Show, make sure you guys are showing some love. Um, how many how many likes? 18 likes, man. Come on, let's get up to 20 likes at least, man. Let's get to 20 likes. How many subscribers will be on as well, man? 610. Let's get us, let's get the um Let's just subscribe account as well, man. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Listen, you lot think we're silly. I can see that you lot are watching without subscribing. Make sure you're subscribing, man. Show someone to the channel. Road to 1K. Road to 700. Road to 700. Road to 1K. Come on, man. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, man. Show someone to the channel. The pitch owners. Yeah, the pitch owners are funny people. They don't want to move. But sometimes it has to be done, bro. Sometimes it has to be done. Um, do, 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 do. Troop says Hamza today. So, well, I only saw clips today. I only saw clips. That is a hilarious 1v1. I'm not going to lie to you, man. That is a hilarious 1v1. Hilarious 1v1. Troops and Hamza is like iconic. It's an iconic 1v1. I'm not going to even lie to you. It's a very iconic 1v1. Um, but yeah, man, listen. End of the day, tomorrow, not tomorrow, Sunday. Sunday they're playing. Obviously, I'm hoping for Man City win. I can't have Arsenal win the league, man. No chance I can have Arsenal win the league. Um, and hopefully City uh, um, City get the W, man. Subscribe to this amazing Chelsea fan. I hate this, his club. Big up to you, Ali A, man. Always showing, always showing love in the chat, man. Big up to you, brother. Guys, make sure you're subscribing. Show some love. I can see, like, I can go on YouTube and um, YouTube right now. YouTube Studio. It'll tell me that a lot of you are not subscribed. I can see it shows this person not subscribed. This person subscribed. This person not subscribed. I can see it, bro. I can see your name in the chat. That's not subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed. Show some love. Road to 1K. Drop your questions in the in the comments um, before we do wrap up. And yeah, let me see if I, I don't think I've missed anything. We've spoken about the club. 
we've spoken about um the injuries it, it's getting ridiculous at this point but we have we have to we have to um figure out what's going on big up to your brother lewis listen I, I, listen lewis i mentioned you today above in the stream make sure you guys are, if you're not already subscribed to lewis then we've got a problem we've got a problem right we've got a problem if you're not already subscribed and you're in my chat then we've got a big problem make sure you subscribe to top g top g carefree lewis g man big up to you brother zizu big up to you brother habibi big up to lewis man make sure you guys show some love to him big up to curry pirate as well man um hey lewis i watched that you and flawless man bro when you were going when you were talking about um the star with chelsea fan tv it just made me reminisce it made me think back to how i first met you i was on 100 percent chelsea on louis as well even though yeah louis gg you know um I'm t listen, a fact. Lewis is the top G of Chelsea YouTube. Lewis runs Chelsea YouTube, bro. Lewis is Chelsea YouTube. He is the OG, bro. He is the OG, bro. I've known this guy since what 2018, 2019, bro. Or even I was, even though I was a kid, yeah. Even I was literally a kid. And now, I, to to some, I'm still young. But back then, I was a kid. Still gave me an opportunity. Still let me have my say. Never once said, "Nah, you're piss off. You're this. You're that. You're young. You're too young." Like always gave him opportunity. He always was a nice guy. Till this day, all now is obviously YouTube has gone to another level since I was first on it, and I first had my say. A lot of people, um, a lot of uh, youngsters go on it. He lets them have them say. Um, he's a hard worker as well, man. Big up to Lewis, man. Every time after the game, on his phone, editing, editing, editing. Does a fine cam, edit, edit, edit. So big up to Lewis, man. Hopefully, he rode to 50k, rode to 100k. Uh, big up to you, brother, man. Um, Big up to you, brother. Um, I remember 100 at Chelsea with the Lawrence and that. Yeah, man, that's what that's why I I first what I first went on Chelsea. No, I didn't go on Chelsea fan TV, but I went over to that area outside the pub to see it. Um, but yeah, maybe one day we'll explain. I'll explain the story of the whole scene, man. But yeah, big up to Lewis, man. Big up to you, brother, man. Big up to you, man. Um, Mr. Kari Pirate, big up to you, man. Hassan must be asking for Poch now, right? Especially if we fire him. I want Hassan all summer to beg for his third best manager in the league, Poch. Listen, we'll find out. We'll find out, Mr. Hassan. Do you really want Poch? Yeah? Do you really want Poch? Let's see. Let's see. But I'm sure he'll he'll say Amaran. He'll say a lot of names before him, man. Um, you a, a, a lot of them, man. Um, you had interviews on Chelsea Fan TV or, or what? What's an SMTH? I don't know what that is. Not just fan TV. My the first fan cam I ever done was 100 percent Chelsea. I didn't, bro. Rory ain't that nice of a guy to let me to let a random kid come on and have his say. No chance, man. No chance. Um. Okay, yo, Ali, bro. It's Ramadan, brother. Ali, 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 Ali. Haram. <laughs> Ali, brother. So for real, Astrid wet, brother. It's Ramadan. Haram. <laughs> Haram! The brother, please. This is haram. 100% haram, brother. 100% haram. 100% haram, man. What is this, bro? Yeah, fine cams. Fine cams. What, what is it? Am I bugging? What is SMTH? Am I like bugging or something? Yeah, I used to do fine cams. Not interviews, I was just typing uh, fans allow it. No, no, I did fine cams when I was younger. I went on um uh I went on 100% Chelsea I did fine cams um and then yeah this, that's just the start of it. I don't know why I don't do do it now to be fair. It's just it's just hectic. It's just hectic right now. You come out of the stadium, Lewis is surrounding the circle, you know Alex big up Alex he's surrounded by a circle. Everyone wants to have their say. Everyone has to quickly have their say and go home. You know, it's a bit hectic for me to go there after games but um Maybe maybe one day I'll get um I'll do a fan cam. Maybe one day I'll get do a fan cam. Guys, guys, make sure I like and subscribe, man. Show some love. What do you mean? How can you guys say SMTH is short for something? What does that even mean, bro? What is it short for? Oh my god, what is it short for, bro? Um, uh, let me see. Will Hamza be on the Ahwa? Yeah, he is. Hamza is them, of course, man. Man City vs Arsenal. He can't miss it. I can't wait just sit back and listen to this. Listen to the cooking, even though the game hasn't started yet. Or we're underdogs. Wallahi, we're underdogs. Wallah, we're underdogs. 
Oh my God, I'm missing John Stones and uh, and and bloody what you call it? Uh, um, what you call it? Well, under the, we're missing Walker. <laughs> we're missing Walker. We're missing John Stones. Underdogs, underdogs. Uh, why do you roast Sat? What do you mean, bro? He's an Arsenal fan. I have to roast him. What do you mean, man? Come on, Arsenal fans have to hold that. Arsenal fans have to hold that. One hundred percent. Of course, it's nothing personal. It's all love. It's all fun. Um, it's all for fun. Um, and trolling. That's all it is. That's all it is. Um, let me see what's going on here. Let me see what's going on here. Uh, cool, sad. Majin Buu. Yo, Ali, bro, what, what's going on with you today, bro? What are these comments, bro? Where is Majin Buu? Bro, who is worse, who is worse Saad or, or Egao? Well, listen, Egao is a top guy. Like, one thing needs to be get straight about Egao. Egao is a top guy. He's a very nice person. But some of his takes, bro, oh my days, bro. Some of his takes are crazy. I'm not going to cap to him, man. Um, search it. Bro, if you get my shit hacked or some shit, bro, Majin Buu. Like, I don't, I'm not bringing up until... I'm not, let me search it before I bring it up. What the actual... What is that, bro? What is that? Yeah, if it, This is Dragon Ball Z or some shit. I don't watch Dragon Ball Z. That's probably why I don't understand. I said that is sad. It's sad. I'm not involved, bro. It's sad. I'm not involved, bro. I'm not involved, man. I'm not involved, man. You know what? It's just we're talking about sad and Arsenal. That's not Japan. That's not Japan. That's not you play. Sorry, man, I was just practicing. My bad, my bad, my bad. I was just practicing for not only Sunday, not only Sunday, but also for the end of the season when they absolutely bowl it, bro. When they absolutely bowl it, they can hold that, bro. I was just practicing, man. I was just practicing. Um, but yeah, man. Listen, guys, any final comments before we do wrap up? I do have to go on Al Ahwa literally in the next couple of minutes. Literally, probably now after they're done. Um, who do you hate more, Spurs or Arsenal? Do you know what it is, bro? You see Spurs? I can't stand Spurs. And every t- I've been to Tottenham, uh, um, Tottenham Stadium a couple of times. I've been to a away game. I've been to the Chelsea at home against Spurs many times. The only th- like Spurs don't do anything. They don't achieve anything. For me to like be pissed at them or hate them even more, because Arsenal every day I hate them even more because they they are, we're not doing great and they're actually doing good. Yeah, they're actually doing more. They're actually doing you know they're challenging for the title. Arsenal, Tottenham are just there. We hate them because obviously rival previous history, but they don't, they don't achieve anything for me to hate them even more. Right, Arsenal are they're not not achieved anything yet, but they're bloody um, they're challenging for the title. Right, they're challenging for the title and where's shit. That's why they're all mouth and we can't really say anything. The only thing we can really say is where's your Champions League? Oh, Baku four one, hold that. You know, <laughs> there's not really much we can say. We could just sit here and pray they bottle it. Like that's why I just played that song. So yeah, man. Um Liverpool or Arsenal, who do you hate the most? No, it has to be Arsenal. But Liverpool, I'm sorry. Liverpool are close. I can't fucking stand Liverpool fans. And I can't stand their manager. That Jurgen Klopp guy, I promise you, I cannot wait till that guy leaves. Yeah? I can't wait till Jurgen Klopp leaves. Like, he makes me sick. Jurgen Klopp makes me sick. I can't wait till he leaves. So, fuck Liverpool. And fuck Arsenal. And inshallah, they both bought the league. Inshallah. Inshallah. Mr. Habib. Habib. No. Inshallah. Inshallah. Um, at the Chelsea Ladies game Sunday, I think we'll win Sunday. Ooh, I saw that where Chelsea women are playing um, Barcelona in the Champions League. That's going to be a crazy game. 
But the league, yeah, light work, man. Chelsea got that in the league. But Barcelona in the Champions League, that's going to be, that's going to be, uh, um, that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, which manager do you think will uh, will cook on the next season? For me, Zerbi can't wait to prove Hassan wrong. And we will do our time. I told you so. Do you think we'll cook on Zerbi? The good thing about Zerbi is that he's got a couple, we've got a couple of players that he's coached, right? It's the, um, uh, what do you call it? Colwell was at his club. Mudrik, he coached at Shakhtar, Caicedo. You could, that can help you to a certain degree, but you still got a whole other 18, 19 players. Um, but listen, like I said multiple times, for me, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. For me, it's a it's a flick do- job or it's a tuchel job, right? That's my that's my that's my go. Big up to Hakim Ziyech as well, man. Big up to Hakim Ziyech every single time. Big up to Brown Brother Hakim Ziyech. Big up to Hakim Ziyech, man. My top G, my top G, my top G, Hakim Ziyech, man. Um, but yeah, man, that, that that's just that's just yeah. Um, Klopp leaves an arm on crumbs. Comes if you hate Klopp, then you better be prepared. I don't think I'll hate any manager more than I hate Jurgen Klopp in terms of rivals. Honestly, Jurgen Klopp. Listen, if I start here speaking about Jurgen Klopp, I'll be here for the next hour, bro. I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. Um, cup final. Yeah, Chelsea got cup. For, Chelsea Women's Cup final. We got that man. We got that man. Um, but also, an Amaran is a rival fan. Uh, Amaran, I've I've watched a Chelsea fan done a little insight on Amaran. That I read through about his career at the back, how he likes to play. But like I said many times, for me, I want an experienced manager. That's why I mentioned the likes of Hansi Flick, the likes of uh, Thomas Tuchel. And he's certainly the manager that's won, a manager that's done well, achieved. And that's been at the big club. Um, so, yeah, man. Listen, Toka, I know this rattles you lot. I swear to God, every single time I'm on Hussam's channel, yeah. And I, um, what do you call it? And I mentioned Jurgen Klopp. The whole chat go mad. The whole chat go mad. You lot love your man. Fair play, man. I know you lot love your manager. Uh, no reason not not to. Because he's achieved a lot. At, um, I mean, he's, I don't know if he's achieved a lot, but he's done a lot. Yeah, C- a couple Champions League uh, finals. One Champions League win. Competed for the Premier League many times. So fair play to him. But as a person, he makes me sick. Absolutely makes me sick. Um, what else we got going on here? Zerbi and Klopp are the biggest winners in the league. Sorry? Oh, whiners. Listen, I've been, I've been fasting all day, bro. I was going to say, what? I mean, this, listen. Jürgen, fuck this. Jürgen Klopp, bro. Talk about whining. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I know. Exactly. See, I, I knew you were about to say that, bro. I knew you were about to say that, man. Guys, make sure you guys are like, subscribe, and show some love to the channel. I know some of you in here are not subscribed. I can literally see on my YouTube channel who is not subscribed. We're on 610 subscribers, right? And we're on 23 likes. Get the likes up, yeah? Get a subscriber count out. Road to 700, road to a K. Make sure you're liking, make sure you're subscribing. Show some love to the channel. I'm going straight on to Al Ahwa, so make sure you guys go to Hassam. Show some love to Hassam. Big up to everyone else locked in, man. Big up to everyone that's locked in. Show some love to the channel. I'm going to play some outro music. A lower outro theme that I've got going on as well. Appreciate everyone that's locked in. Appreciate everyone that stayed with me for this out quick hour. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and show some love to the channel. Go on straight over to the Ahwa. I appreciate all your support. Big up to you lot. And...